Not long ago, this was a washing machine, but I ripped it apart. Ripped everything out and quite a big thing, the motor. And I did all that to get to the drum. So I'm gonna use this drum for the chicken plucker. So I measured the drum and this will go around to the drum. I've already done a couple of screws. And just like that, we have two frames, one for the top, one for the bottom. And I've cut the legs and I've marked more or less where I want them. There we go, we have a frame now. Uh, I need to get the center this way and that way so that the axle is in the center and then we mount the drum around with the disc spinning in the middle. So we'll just measure from there to there. I went to, ahead and got a piece of two by four, drill a hole through. I mounted a bearing in the middle. Top, there's a bearing on the top the bearing at the bottom and there's a, a collar yeah to adjust it so you can adjust this so basically this thing just need to sit there and the fan will come around the fan belt will go around there fan belt v belt the belt the driving belt so this i just make sure that this is, sits in the middle and then i'll screw it in and that should just Spun the feather plate. So I got the drum, yeah. I drilled a test hole just to see if what size I need for the, for the little plucker fingers. But we'll drill all of them later. Now this drum needs to fit nicely in there, but it, it cannot sit flat like that because otherwise the, the belt won't, the, the motor needs to be on the side and the belt needs to run underneath that. So I need to get the drum up there and the belt needs to be free spinning. To do that, I'll put the V-belt around like that. So obviously the motor comes this way and can spin it. Then I 
we'll place a spacer this side and this side. It's just a spacer to clear that. Drill a hole through this and then mount this one over there. And then in theory this will run freely. I've got some spacers. Two spacers there. So this will go over like that. Now, now this pulley has clearance to, to go. Then we'll mount the drum on top of this. I've added two nuts in the front there, so there's a little bit more tension on the on the belt. I've hand tied it, so let's give it, give it a go and see if it will work. Moment of truth. Hopefully it doesn't jump off. The build is almost finished. Uh, what's left to do is I need to put the fingers on the bottom plate, all the fingers in here. I went and I bought a uni bit. This is a uni bit. So basically you drill in and every time you drill it's one sixteenth of a size bigger until you get the right size. I've completed the bottom plate all the feathers in or oh, pluckers I don't know what you call those things so I cut this board like this Let's see if that works. Is the belt off? In theory, this should go in there. Is the belt coming out? I think that I think that will work. I'm gonna screw it in. And then we can cut the top off. So I guess the, the motor will be a little bit protected now. 
from the water. I almost probably just uh, do something on the top, yeah, because the V belt is going to bring some moisture this way. So maybe just make a f uh, some kind of protection there. And I had a little bit of this left over, so I did the, the side, yeah. And I got a little bit more to do the other side. And there you have it, chicken plucker. One side is still open.